Artificial intelligence. It seems we can't go a whole day without hearing those two words or a story about their impact. And now that artificial intelligence has been rolled out to the public, the urgent question is how to harness its benefits without unleashing the risks. Vice President Kamala Harris sat down with the CEOs of four tech giants at the White House today to talk about the evolving technology and what it means for society. Dina Demetrius has more on that conversation. Top developers of artificial intelligence met with both the president and vice president at the White House where they discussed the power of AI and how to limit its risk to society. The four executives included the CEO of OpenAI, the company that released ChatGPT to the public last year, launching new concerns about disinformation and deep fakes. It's a tool that could be used in the wrong ways, in damaging ways. And I think that's a real concern, but the idea that AI or robots are going to rise up and overthrow humanity, which science fiction sometimes shows, is less of a concern. Vice President Harris told the executives they have a legal responsibility to ensure the safety of their products. The White House also released its plan to promote responsible AI, including a $140 million investment in new research institutes. AI is now a reality for all Americans. With the release of new chatbots, people are experimenting with everything from solving math problems to writing poetry. I think it's just a beautiful thing that it's going to enhance a lot of things. But here in L.A., they're also cautious about this rapidly evolving technology. The danger is that we as humans can program them to be more intelligent than ourselves. The Biden administration promised to release new guidance in the next few months on how federal agencies can use AI, seizing the benefits while managing the risks. Dina Demetrius, CBS News, Los Angeles. The White House told Reuters that the president has been extensively briefed on ChatGPT and has experimented with it himself.